Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Leo. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. So let's see what's going on this week. Um, we got the Ten of Wands. All right. Um, then we have the Page of Pentacles as the advice. Uh, the outcome is the Temperance card. Um... Okay, so Leo, some of you, it's a lot going on here. Okay, so this week with the Ten of Wands showing up as the situation, there could be a lot of work on your plate. It says, you know, this is um kind of cracking under the weight of your own success. So something could have turned out very well for you. Um, to where you're kind of pulled in so many different directions or something about energy, energy drain or draining your energy. Um, it also could be long drives or long commutes to work too with the Ten of Wands. Some of you could be moving or needing to move or you're moving something or you're moving around or maybe you do kind of like back, back breaking work uh, for your job, for your career. If this is a relationship, there's something in this relationship that needs to be kind of looked at. It needs to be examined, but you're still just going to continue to do, continue to just carry this burden, carry this this issue um, on your shoulder, maybe this chip on your shoulder, or I don't know. Um, it's like you're not going to confront it, whatever it may be. It's like it's more so something you don't know. You're hoping that this person or this person is hoping that you're not taking them for granted. Um, that you're not going to end up as a scapegoat. As the victim here. The page of pentacles as the advice. Um, healthier living, healthier lifestyle. Focus on you. Focus on growth growth in terms of your career and finance, uh, learning, being studious, picking up a book, um, just the um, acquisition of knowledge, you get knowledge and then apply it. This also could be something about learning, learning about healthier living, healthier eating, just a healthier lifestyle altogether, maybe even divination or the tarot. Some of you are looking for answers because with the Ten of Wands here, you're just not sure where you're going, either in life and or career um, or in a relationship. It feels as if you're on autopilot, you know, and it's just like you just get up and you do, you go. But where is this really going to land you? For some of you, if this is a relationship, then it also could be borderline karmic, karmic relationship. Just because you don't know where you're going, you don't know where this is going to end, you don't know, you don't have an end game. For this relationship therefore it can it can turn karmic this is the karma that we create for ourselves in the ten of wands you need to ask necessary questions you need to make sure that somebody is consistent when they deal with you or vice versa someone's asking this of you or about you ask if somebody is really single if they live alone or if they live with somebody else the outcome is the temperance card. Finding some compromise, some balance here. Take the middle ground, even if you find information that is disheartening, that is disruptive to the connection, to this love affair. It says don't fly off the handle. Find some compromise here. Maintain your emotional balance here. Some of you are learning about, you know, how to make potions and uh, just divination and esoteric and spirituality and magic all together. Some of you are really practicing different moon magic rituals. It looks like it's going to go well for you.
some of you just are really not open to love right now. You're open to having a relationship, but intimacy, vulnerability, openness, no. This could be the woman that lives alone. This is the woman that keeps relationships outside of her home or her heart space. She's a good catch. She, you know, checks all the boxes in terms of maybe somebody's list that they may have. But I don't know if there's a lot of room for a heartfelt connection. There could be somebody needs to do some heart chakra work, some sacral chakra work, learning how to receive. Somebody's really trying to transform their life. It looks like it could very well be happening. Keep up whatever it is you're doing. This is what I have for you, Leo. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of uh, the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Find me live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can ask questions. You can just come for the collective reading. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.